Hi guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a video right now, um, okay, sorry about the ums. I am getting a lot of downloads, a lot of different messages, and I cannot stay focused too long today. Um, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna try to stop saying um. What I'm getting right now is that the political unrest and all that stuff going on is part of the bigger plan. There will be a different sections of people that do different things, that are called to go and do different things, okay? There are three that are coming through right now, to my knowledge. One, the people that don't want to wake up to the uh, reality of what's going on. Sorry about all the cars, the neighbors just left. Um, so, anyways. So the, the group of people that don't want to admit to the fact that what they thought was the reality is no longer their reality, they're in indoctrinated, in in indoctored or whatever, I can't think of words because I'm like in between dimensions right now, um, in indoctored, in indoctrined with, hold on a second, there's this random bird and I don't know what it is that just came up randomly now. So, red-headed woodpecker. Interesting. So randomly came up and randomly just as fast went away. Hmm, interesting. Okay, means I'm on the right track. It means they're like, yes, you need to speak this. No matter how my 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 logical brain's like, don't say it. You're gonna sound crazy and like cuckoo, and people are gonna like think you're wacko. And then that just proved to me that I need to say this. Um, because spirit sends me birds in nature to tell me that I'm on the right track. So anyways, all right, recenter myself. So there are three groups. One, the group of people that don't want to believe that their re outward reality is fake, that it's, it's a facade, that, you know, it's fluid, whatever they think about, they manifest in the outward reality. You got to go inside to go outside. They're completely like, no, this is a physical world. They're all about science and what, you know, the book said for, you know, this and that and just, you know, bam, bam, bam. No in between black, white, indifferent, different. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. Well, hello, spider. Sorry, all these nature things. No. Dude, it's like looking at me. That's so weird. There's a little spider right there in the thing. It's like turned around and looked at me. Hi. Go that way. Please. Thank you. That way. That way. That way. It's like looking up and down. I'm like, <sighs> come on. Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. I'm not shooing it, I'm just trying to move the air so it'll go that way. That was really weird. Okay. Anyway, um, then two are the people that are basically like, okay, um, something weird's going on. What I believed is not real anymore. It's not something, there's too many discrepancies. There's too many things that are not matching up with the way I was told, the way I'm living, the way things are happening now they're they're being more awakened they're like okay I am not accepting this other reality anymore because there is something that's really wrong with it that does not match up with me anymore and they're willing to um, suspend their mind to the point where they can see through it's like people waking up from the matrix basically no 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 okay why to come out my lap and I'm like no <laughs> so I just shoot them on the floor um but anyways so that's the second group. Then the third group are us light workers. Well, actually, there's four technically. The fourth, uh, the third group is us light workers who are still here um, and will stay on the planet once the transition happens and once all the negative people uh, that are controlling everything leave. Um, and then the people who um, have woken up will be staying here and they're like okay we need a we need somebody to help us out because we have no idea left right what, what are we doing we have no idea that's when we're here um i'm in that group i'm here to continue to spread love and light to be a beacon of light to those who are remaining after all this is crazy 
so that they can be like, okay, what do I do now? And then we can explain how, you know, the utopia is supposed to be and, you know, what, what is the best practices and things like that. Um, and the fourth group is those that are light workers that have done that for the people in the past, for the last revolution, so to speak, um, and are, who are ready to go back either to the other side to continue doing that and to help us from the other side that way, or to whatever star planet they originally uh, came from. So, a lot of my spiritual friends also, Cody, stop, don't mind my dog. Hey, 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 it's just a bike. He does not like bikes, walkers, or anything. We're on the deck. <laughs> um, those people that basically were like, okay, I'm from this planet, I resonate with this planet, but I'm in a human form, and my reality is, okay, I've helped the people of Earth, I've done my lesson, I've done my path, now I'm going back to my home planet to help with the Ascension and Collective that way. So, like I said, there's four groups. The fourth one, okay, I get that, but I'm mainly the three that are going to be staying here on Earth. That's what I'm focusing on, or transitioning. So the first group, like I mentioned before, will be transitioning. They'll be like, nope, I don't care. And then when push comes to shove, instead of adapting, they're just going to be like, no, I'd rather just... Th that was their life journey. Don't. There's nothing bad against it or anything. That's just their life journey, and they'll pass on. Because they don't like the dynamic. They don't want the dynamic. They're not... Their vibration is not of the dynamic, so of course they're going to pass on peacefully to the other side so that they can do whatever they planned and charted to do originally. Um, I, might do. I don't usually drink pop like this, but I've been asked by spirit to start doing pop and things like that, which is weird because it's completely opposite from what one would think you need to, and I started my gluten-free diet too. Um, so this is very strange. Um, I'm only thinking that maybe they're asking me to do this because my body needs to have the energy and the sugar. Cody, stop. It's just a biker. Chill out. Oy. Um, so that I can, the changes and becoming more of a light structure, um, needs the energy and the sugars and the things to go through my body. But I also can't have too many sugars because then it blocks all the upgrades and, um, transformation so it's kind of like a weird like I go with how I feel for the day but I do definitely keep my um, gluten-free going and that was hard today because I didn't feel really good so I was trying to make potato salad um, and so I'm still kind of um. so anyways what I'm saying is there's um, different dynamics coming through three in particular there are different things happening there will be more things to come in this unrest and thing as we transfer out of the um, wounded area of the collective uh, a lot of people who are waking up are waking up there they're, they're kind of like Neo when he woke right up out of the matrix he went in and, and then he was faced with reality he got sick he threw up because it couldn't process the mind couldn't process all that all at once being thrown at him that's why these things are happening in phases okay um, I don't know much about the whole Q thing. I don't really hear about it. I'm, I kind of stay passive with all that. Um, certain in, information that I've come across, some of it is coming true, some of it's not. Uh, the, I just, apparently the Q movement has gone silent right now because Q has gone silent or something. But like I said, I only follow what comes through to me. I read it. I don't discount it though because that's the other thing you want to be able to listen to the other side even if you don't necessarily believe or adhere to it and like do your research and like res do stuff that resonates with you so like not all the Q stuff resonates with me some of it does some of it I'm like oh that's an interesting thought I'll put it up here you know on the shelf until something transpires in life that will make me be like hey what's going on now the thing about um, our president saying with all these riots going on that possibly he would put up um, army people that's part of what I was listening from the Q thing and I'm like hmm that's interesting but like I said it hasn't happened happened yet so I can't exactly say that it's true or not true um, I take everything with a grain of salt I don't 100% believe in one thing or the other I am very open to other information and other things but anything that's negative and um, the idea of, of pushing someone down or lowering your vibration 
that no longer resonates with me. Um, another thing is I had to do it for myself. Um, I have been purging, not only changing my diet and my ways, but the people that are around me. I just recently broke it off with a guy that I thought was my twin flame because he was not raising his vibration and I was being sucked in to his negative energies and it wasn't benefiting me. And I had broken it off before, uh, but then I got sucked in because I am I was trained, one of those paradigms in your head, to have to be with somebody, you know? It's tough to be by yourself, you, you need this or that. and. One of the things was we don't have to always be with somebody. We have it within ourselves. So I am relearning that lesson that I learned before, but then it got taken out of me because all this other outside influence was what I sucked in from being out in the work world and it, as being an adult. And so what's happening now is you'll see a lot of adults actually, hold on a minute, there's a bus, truck, truck. I'm sorry. Um, so you'll see a lot of people and adults who are rethinking things, readjusting, um, reevaluating the different things in their life. And certain things do have to be done. Like, don't let people belittle you. Don't do that. Just don't lash back out at them because that's not going to help you. What you need to do is just, hey, if it feels right, just block them. Don't engage. Don't engage and just be like, okay. That's that. I'm sorry, but that's where you are right now, and this is where I am right now, and we're not an equal match, and so we're gonna have to go our separate ways. And then possibly, if we are if we are realigned, uh, we might sometime in the future um, realign and meet up again or something. If not, then that is our life lesson, um, each to their own. Uh, there is always a fluid. Energy is always constantly moving. It's never stagnant. Never. It's like water. So it's, it's always, uh, my neighbor's walking his dog, so, hold on. Wow, that car was really fast. You will also notice, too, okay, there's a lot of cars going really, really fast on my road right now. The energies, it was almost like when I said before that we were waiting for, for like, we were in a rubber band and we were being held back uh, before in March, February, March. And then all of a sudden, we're going to be, like, propelled forward. We're in that propelled forward motion right now where everything's like bam, 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 bam. You know? So, um, a lot of this is partly with that. A lot of this is a lot of the things that we internalize and we know that are our truth are coming out to the surface. And it's a contention with what we were told was the truth. So our spiritual truth and our inner truth and our intuition, our guiding light, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, our sixth sense, basically is in conflict with what the outside world that was manufactured has told us to and what we were trained as little kids to believe. Um, there comes a crow. Hello, crow. We'll see it. A lot of things in nature. Nature's changing. Weather patterns are changing. A lot of things are being manipulated. Last-ditch efforts by the unseen negative powers, Cody, shh, it's okay, buddy, are um, happening. But to those who are aware of it and who want to be aware of it, it's an easy, you can see it constantly, people being manipulated, things. Um, some of my own family members, my older brother, um, he was an indoctrinated into that kind of survival right. So... He, he's not very spiritual like that, even though we grew up spiritual, but he didn't seek his own spirituality. He's got his own code of ethics. Here comes a stink bug. Wow, what the heck is with all the animals and bugs and things? Everybody's like, oh, okay, hi, Jen. Jen's over here. Come to Jen. <laughs> I had spiders, stink bugs, birds. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Um, Cody, no. Yes, hi. You can continue going on. Now there's an ant on my foot. No, come on. God, what the heck? <laughs> Cody, stop. You're okay. Stop. I am trying to do a video. Oh, just you. Calm down. They're just walking. They're the girls. They're just walking. They're cool. You don't have to worry about them. They're cool. They're just walking in the A. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Cody, stop. Uh, two, two girls walking in the East Or, er, not them. Um, anyway, um, 
So, what I was saying, and I'm sorry I'm being totally squirrel brain and distracted constantly, but there is way too much stuff going on, and it is all just being like... <laughs> so sometimes I have to actually be like... <laughs> Um, and also taking care of Gramp is another whole thing. But anyways, like I said, it was with my brother. I'll say all this stuff and he'll be like, yeah, okay, you're just this weird, hippie, too emotional, giving everybody constant chances and having everybody walk all over you. You should just be like, whatever. But he's more hard hardened that way because he's like, no, if you don't respect me, I'm not going to respect you, blah, blah, blah. I don't flow that way because I've got other spiritual teachings. I have to kind of put boundaries up. And it, it, I keep getting this need to kind of explain it and be like, Dan, no, it's this way. You don't like, dude, can't you see that? And it's not for him to see. He'll see it when he needs to see it, when it is up to him. Right now, he's not receptive to him. His vibration's too low. And that's what, that's what's going to be happening to a lot of things that are in here. People who are not receptive to it, their vibration is at a lower place, a lower frequency. They're not going to be able to accept what we're saying because they're, they don't resonate with the frequency. We're giving off light codes when we speak. We're giving off um, energies. And the people that resonate with that will resonate with that. Like, for instance, the guy that I've been sharing in this group just recently um, from the Way of the Jaguar, I think his name's David or something, he's really cool. Like, all of a sudden I found him, and I think I knew about him before, but then somehow, like, life happened, and I got away from it, and then I got involved with um, people who were of lower vibration. And so, of course, it sucked me into the lower vibrations, and I forgot who I was and where my um, original center was. And so, of course, my vibration dropped. So, of course, I'm going to resonate with those people there. And I forgot up here where that resonation was. So, until I was able to be, like, more aware of things, and, like, I became aware by little things that were in my world, like little Facebook posts of friends of mine. Or somebody would say something, or there would be a song on the radio that would make me remember when I was a kid and I didn't, I, you know, I didn't worry about all these other things and I was more at peace. Um, also, I got out of the negative environment where I was living before, and I chose to go here and help. So, plus two, one of the people that was a big factor in it, sadly to say, my grandmother had passed. So all that constant beration. I don't have anymore so I'm able my vibrations able to rise because I was constantly she was sucking my energy out and I had to be here for other things but then at the same time it, it's kind of like a flow like you have to be able to give and and let go in some instances I know some situations you're like no I have no choice but there is always a choice like I took the lesser of the two evils so to speak from being over there on mainstream being surrounded by people that are very low vibration only care about themselves and getting back at other people and substance abuse and all that to being back here at home to the point where I had to help my grandmother again and she was just constantly she had something attached to her I know she did because she wasn't in her truth I knew her when she was in her truth when I was younger um, when she didn't she wasn't so negative and, and the the vibration wasn't low and then the disease is set in when your vibration is that low and then you're not thinking correctly and you're not in your higher self all these these things um and so I kept telling her towards the end there I said it's okay and I kept telling myself for that year because I moved in last year around June actually exactly around June so it's been exactly a year today no it's been a year June 1st three days ago Monday it's been a year since Monday well wow. cool um, how basically I said, it's okay. You're going to be better. You're going to be on the other side. You're not going to have all that negativity. You're not going to have all those issues or any of that. Sorry, there's a wasp. <laughs> and you're going to feel better. You're going to feel free. You're not going to have that attachment. <coughs> <coughs> so anyways, um... In certain circumstances, we cannot, I know, understand, we cannot move, remove ourselves from the situation and the people. But we also have to, if that's the case, we have to spend less time with them and stop doing what they are and putting up that wall. We will, yes, sometimes we have to put up those walls. We have to block those people. We have to not engage. We have to ignore them. Because how else are we going to survive, too? We, in order to help people, we have to help ourselves first, okay? So instead of engaging and getting mad, like I did one time, my aunt another instance she has her own view of me depending on how the manipulation of my grandmother and whatever was controlling my grandmother through her 
and they knew things that you can't see physically. There is a gnat, sorry. Things that you can't see physically were manipulating the background that I didn't even know about and it was thrown at me all of a sudden. So when it all went down in back in January, I was being thrown at, like she was attacking me, like verbally. And so I was speaking out and I was being like, no, this, this, and this, and she wouldn't hear it because she was set in her ways and she thought I was lying and all this stuff. And I, it didn't matter if I was speaking my truth and I knew I wasn't lying. To her, it was a lie. It didn't matter. So what I ended up doing is she, every time I said something, she would come back at me again and again and again, and I could not get through to her no matter what I said. So what I did is I stopped and I sat here like this, put my hands in front of my heart like this, like you're prote it's a protection. And I just sat there and went, huh, huh. She got so mad that she actually said, you can sit there and huh all you want. And, she, and then for a while, I'm just like not engaging. I'm just like being whatever. And she stopped she, and then she like said, F you. And then she went away. She went away. And then later on she came back and she said, wow, you really triggered me. I don't understand that. I've never said that to anybody. And I'm like, whatever. You know, I'm like, my truth triggered her because she's not in, she's dealing with her own issues of truth. People who are liars. She's got her own family issues about lying and things like that, that she's got to, you know, work through. Now, until she does, there will still constantly be that. But I was in the mindset originally that I needed to prove something to her, that I was just and right and whatever. It wouldn't have mattered. It was a waste of my own energy. So let them do their thing. Let them think what they want to think. Do your thing. If that's the case, ignore them. Walk away. Don't engage. If you have to engage, engage as little as possible. And don't take them attacking you to heart. Just know that there's probably something else, a negative entity or something attached to them. Because I also feel, uh, I watch Feel Good and I follow Feel Good about being a dot. And we all... S there is this bird that I've never seen before. And it just went into the, into the bushes. It had some kind of red. Unless it's a red-winged blackbird. That's cool. Um... Anyway, there's tall grass. I can't see it, so it's tall grass. So, basically, <sighs> engage as little as possible. Because when you engage, you're, you're giving them your energy. You're, you're, they're giving you some energy, and you're giving them. So if their energy is negative, and it's coming into you, unless you have your, your walls up or whatnot, you're gonna you're gonna internalize that, okay? And then you're gonna start feeling not so good, and that's why that that's where that's coming from. So try to get away from that as much as good. I couldn't necessarily, but I didn't realize that I was getting more triggered and stuff when I was around that. I am better here being in nature because I regenerate myself through nature and water. I've known that now. I've known it for years. I just haven't followed because it's been easy, but it's only been easy because I've been of a lower vibration. I didn't raise my vibration. The moment you raise your vibration, you get in with you and what resonates with you, it's going to be more available for you to do these things. Um, I'm just trying to think of other things to tell you. The guy that I was following, the Dave guy, he, his videos like connected with me. Like right now. And I am so glad that I found him in the feed. And he's through Crystal Guidance who I also follow. And wherever he is. I have no idea where it is. The nature resonated with me. And it helped me remember. Remember. I never really actually forgot. Who I was and where my power and my energy comes from. Which is nature. And how. That is what always resonates with me. And by me being out in the public. And being an adult quote unquote and having those obligations and responsibilities I have gotten away from my sacred center whereas before when I didn't have an adult and I didn't have a job this this or that I was able to do a lot more of these I was able to be out in nature I was able to have the time to go and re-clean out the creek down here which is what I enjoy now with other obligations of having to take care of my grandfather I don't get that op option now so it's, it's, it's hard for me to try to stay on tack or on track tack on track so that basically I'm still able to give him the proper care he needs and be calm not be of lower vibration and snap at people and get triggered be okay with taking the stress at work at my part-time job at work still work on my young living business on my side business to get side income 
and be okay with dealing with all the stress personally. And be more sympathetic because this is when we become more sympathetic and empathetic towards people that we come in contact with. I never used to get as triggered as I do now. But it's mainly because, one, I was with the guy for four years. And so his energy always resonated with me and everything. So when I would talk to him, that came back. So by not being with him now, I'm not integrated with that negative vibration. It's not here. I can finally feel my own energy and what resonates with me. Wow, all the birds are coming out. So I'm finding myself again. And this might have to happen with a couple of you guys or a couple of your friends or whoever. Um, if they lash out at you, they're going through a quote-unquote detox of their own. Okay? So unless they release the things that are in their lives that are triggering them, that are negative vibration, that are pulling them down, unless they break free from that in the chains and go and force themselves to like raise up and raise their vibration. And it can be organic, but sometimes it's pushed. I know my spirit guide Merlin, which was also Jamie's spirit guide, tends to do that on purpose. Because he's like, alright, I'm done. You're, you're a slow learner. Let's, let's tune this up a little bit. And then he'll throw people at you that you're like, I'm done. I can't do this. Because he knows that they're not good for you and you're not going to do it on your own. Hence, the guy I was dating. So he's like, oh no, I'm going to give you a situation where you know you're not going to do it. And I have to stick to my guns because I'm like doing this whole guilt thing in my head going, oh, I need to go back. I need to go back because of, it's all the programming. And I need to reset the programming. So I center myself. I focus on what I'm doing. I focus on my energy. And all these different things. So anyways, I'm going to get off because this is uh, 26 minutes long, about 27 minutes long. And um, that's what I got for you guys now. Sorry it's not alive. My phone's acting funky. There's a lot of other things going on behind the scenes. And I know this was a lot of information for you guys to digest. Um, so feel free to replay it. I'm going to upload it onto my YouTube, which I actually uploaded a bunch of other uh, videos onto YouTube too. And um, I wish you all well, love, and light, and blessings. All right? Namaste, everybody. I am here for you. I am sending love and light all your way. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, subscribing to my YouTube channel. God bless you. God bless you. It's my neighbor. And, um, yeah, stay as centered as you guys can. Remember to just relax. There is other things going on that you cannot physically see in the physical realm that are pulling the strings behind the scenes. So just hold on, this will all come to an end, um, but there's probably gonna be a couple more upsets coming in the next couple months. Um, I have a feeling we're not gonna get a real calmness, uh, social structure and the, everything else come, crawling down. There'll be other tactics that these people that are manipulating things will try to, you know, come out with because they're, they got, they're last straw basically and they're like I've got nothing else to try let's throw everything at them and uh, they'll know that it's not gonna work it might work for some in like small groups which is where you see all the the social unrest but eventually the people that have chosen to go that way will go that way and they'll pass out or pass on and then you'll still have a remaining chunk that are gonna be the lost few and then you're gonna have us the ones that were the ones that were set here to help them to uh, get them centered and uh, back with their truth and their light and then you get the other ones that will cross on to the galactic center so that they can um, monitor uh, the other negativity people and beings that were controlling all the programs that we have lived through for eons um, and that are now no longer available and they're not going to work anymore so that's all that all right love light and blessings everybody um, I will talk to you as soon as I can get another free moment. All right. Enjoy the weather if you got it. And uh, I know the South's having some s storms. I'm here in New York. Yeah. That's the other thing. I love being in this small rural town um, where it's it's peaceful and I've got nature. I That's one reason why I'm not in the cities. I don't resonate with any of that. Um, nature is my calling. And if it was me, I'd actually be even more in rural areas, more or less, um, with more nature. Um, so, all right, love, light, and blessings, everybody. Namaste. Do your thing, but do it peacefully and uh, raise your vibrations and send love and light and peace out to the world. I did it the other day when I was in the shower. I was just envisioning the water raining all over the earth with peace and love and um, healed it with the violet flame um, and 
so late. All right. Love, light, and blessings, everybody. Namaste. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.